And the Los Angeles Police Department is facing another lawsuit over allegations of excessive use of force. Over the summer, a young man was fatally shot by LAPD officers and then run over by their vehicle. His parents are now seeking justice, calling on the district attorney to file criminal charges against the officers. RT's Brigitte Santos has the story from Los Angeles. Back in June, LAPD officers shot 20-year-old Eric Rivera while responding to reports of an armed man in the neighborhood of Wilmington. Now, according to an LAPD press release, quote, when the officers arrived, they observed a lone Hispanic male in his mid-20s. Believing this may be the suspect, they directed their attention toward him, and there was an officer-involved shooting. The officers have been identified as Arturo Urrutia and Daniel Ramirez. Rivera's family attorney told reporters that the officers were in such a hurry, they failed to put the patrol vehicle in park. When it rolled forward, Rivera reportedly tried to jump out of the way, and the officers opened fire, wounding him in the head, chest, and legs. A final blow was then delivered by the runaway car, which rolled over Rivera, pinning him to an apartment building. The incident is still being investigated. However, a toy gun was recovered from the scene. Based on the available video surveillance, the family's attorney says it was a green plastic squirt gun. Rivera's parents have now filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the officers, LAPD, and City of Los Angeles over excessive use of force. They say they are willing to drop the case if the officers involved are prosecuted. In Los Angeles, Brigida Santos, RT.